You, you gonna throw me those arrows? Uh, yeah. I'm over here dealing with stupid shit. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, split half with me here. Why have you given me a hundred? I told you I made a ton. Okay, pick up... S How many do you have? I've got, like, 200 more. Oh, okay. Well, then that's fine. I, I don't need that much. Okay, then. So, uh, you should probably get on Skybacks, and I am going to ride on my that's Tropic Ignatus. Skybacks. Now, is you should. This one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll actually beat you there by quite a long period of time. Now, first, do you have him back in your sight? Or her, rather? Yeah, yeah I'll put her back on the thing. Okay, so you can physically see where she's at in the world right now. Yes. Okay, then. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just upgrading I, stamina. I love how, how much fast, fast this thing is. Yeah, I'm I just—I see you flying, looping around. Too. I'm flying circles around you, Charlie. I'm flying circles around you. Here, let me fire a little warning shot. Oh shit! This that thing made has me a hot. Cannon. That made me hot. It's not actually. It's not because I fired it. It's just getting hot because we're moving well, towards the tropical area of the island. Well, it blew up and it literally pulled up. You were hot as it blew up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is why I'm constantly wearing ghillie armor. So, I think I may be out of food. You may be out of food? Well, yeah. don't worry. You can always find some poor, unfortunate little creature and peck it to death. Yeah, and I ain't got none of my inventory. I don't find know. It, lo it, it looks like it is, but I, I, I shouldn't be because I just ain't. You're out of food? No, I don't think I... I it looks like an animal. No, I, I really mean, don't. You or the animal? Me. Well, then what the hell, Charlie? I just ate. I, I, I really don't think I am. I think it's just a visual glitch. Well, if it says that your meat bar is nearly completely empty, that's not a glitch. You'll start dying of hunger. Well, it's not dark blue, it's kind of a grayish instead. Like, I can oh. see it. But it's not the same color as everything else, is why I'm saying that. Needs to be a light blue, that's the normal color. Okay. Okay, let me see where the hell this thing is. Not far from me, and I need to land. In fact, I'm less than, um... I'm less than a thousand meters from it. I'm and Skybex just kicked me out. Wow. Are you high up? No. But well, now he's too high to whistle to me. No, he's not. If you can see him, you can whistle him. Up oh, there he is. Okay. Come here, Skybax. You gotta mind your stamina about these things. Well, I was going down, and it just so happened to go like that. Yeah, we're not far from my house, actually. I can see it from here. Yeah, I, I'm I'm here by the way. You're you're actually at the Rex. Well, I'm less than a thousand meters. I'm five hundred meters. Oh, it's it's probably because I hit water. Yeah, that that might be. Yeah, whenever you hit water, that usually knocks you right on off. Oh, that that means I'm trying to get to them. Okay, never mind. What? He's dead. What'd you do to him? Oh, I didn't do anything to him. Well, yeah, I see that he died, because now I'm 4,000 meters all of a sudden. What happened? Well, what happened is that there were two brontosaurs over here, and he decided he was going to try and fight them. All right, well. I'm going and... to the other one, then. Well, it's also 95. Well, the other one has its own problems, Charlie. Which is... The other one is a much higher level Tyrannosaur, if I'm not mistaken. It says 95 as well. Well, guess what? That's actually a visual glitch. It's not a 95. It doesn't spawn a new 95 just because yours got killed. 
Yeah, you're right, it is 100, okay. Yeah, it's it's not a level 95. Let me re-sample. Yeah, it's a level 100 one. And if we go up there, we're going to be facing a whole new set of challenges. So do I need to go there or not? It depends. How badly do you want this Rex? I think we need it pretty badly. Well... Man, I'm already almost 2,000 meters away. Oh, okay then. Well, if you feel that strongly about it, okay. Let's go to it. So these ra raised up uh, kind of plateaus in the middle of the river, are they safe to land on? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to land anywhere that's somewhat safe to land on anyway. Just to kind of recover stamina. And I see an XP bonus jar probably. Mm -hmm. Should be a note here. Oh, it's already been opened. Hey, Charlie, I'm catching up to you. Oh, fuck you. So what's special about this place over here? Well, for starters, I'm freezing to death because of how cold it is. So oh, I gotta... shit, it is cold. That's right. Yeah. Further north you go, the colder it gets. Thankfully, I'm wearing fur armor now. I'm still wearing metal. Yep, you're going to freeze your balls off. Oh, look, it's a tech rex, Charlie. Yeah, I saw that. Tech racks. So it's turning nighttime. Yep, it's turning nighttime. So we're gonna have to tame this thing in the dark with the threat of wolves and Utyrannuses trying to eat our balls. Charlie? I'm still here. I'm just floating here. Hey, are you... What? I'm just floating here. Well, come and land in this plateau over here. I have no idea where you're at. You're... Uh, actually, I'm behind you. I see you. I see you. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Here. Let these ants be a beacon. Yeah, come land over here. Okay, so our target is 404 meters that way. There is a Stegosaurus right here. I think we should kill the Stegosaur before we proceed. And then once we do that, we set up the Rex trap and lure the target into it. Okay. Charlie, would you like to help me kill this? No, I'm good. Well, you actually have the stronger melee of the two of us. I know. Yeah, there. Now we have some meat. Okay. So, uh... I'm going to start setting up the, uh, trap. Actually, that's very helpful. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh... Watch my ass while I, uh, assemble it. Keep I an eye on it. can't really see too far. Well, don't worry. Just make sure the Rex doesn't come towards us. Is really the only concern. Uh, he's currently heading away. Don't worry. We can lure him right down the gorge. I I'm aware of that. I was just letting you know. Okay, then. So, yeah, let's... I wish there were handbrakes on these things. There aren't. Oh no, I just wish there were. Okay then. Now I just gotta go to the other side of the uh, of the trap. Break this tree. 
and then uh, set up the wooden ramp to get him up there. What does the ice cube item mean? It means you're freezing to death because you're an imbecile. <laughs> Oh, sorry, the melting ice cube. Yeah, means you're freezing to death. It's got a red background to it. Yeah. I do hear something. Doesn't that sound very pleasant? You hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Uh, no, actually, no, I don't. Okay, get to the other side of the trap. I'm going to lure the Rex over. Uh, oh shit. We what? do have a problem. What? There's an alpha in the way. Uh -huh. He's going to pose a problem. It's an alpha raptor. Uh -huh. This thing has fucking raw prime meat in its inventory. The bird? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because you killed the stegosaur, idiot. Oh, well, I've got six minutes on it. Well, it'll take longer than that to knock this thing out. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to try and lure this Rex down past this raptor. It should be too hard to lure him. You say that, but you gotta realize a large yeah. animal yeah. like that with a small brain, uh, very easily distracted, plus and we also it's don't want black the, dark. And we don't want the alpha raptor to get lured either. Yeah. So, when does a torch break? So it's uh, just holding it, break them? Wait a second. Uh, hold on, I'm seeing red marks. Oh wait, no, that's just an Alpha Carnotaur, okay. Or an Alpha Raptor, rather. Okay. So our target isn't an Alpha. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if it can be. Is that you making that noise? Uh, no, that's the Rex. I'm luring it. I don't think that's what I heard. I think I may be being stalked. In the dark, yes, you might be getting stalked. So I need to not be on the ground. No, you should you should be fine. I don't kind of understand why you're not holding a torch too. Well, mainly because I can see in the dark well enough. Okay, well I can't see shit. And there's also now another stega right here next to us. Ah, uh, complications, complications, Charlie. Uh, how was the Stega complications? I would think that's good because that's more prime meat we can get after we knock it out. Because if he decides he'd rather eat the Stegosaur than us, he's going to try and eat the um, Stego and he'll it's on, it's on the it's on It's not right up here next to us. There is, however, something other little small thing that I might need to hit then. No, no, you should be fine. I've already started hitting it, so. And now he's food. Oh, that was loud. Okay, Charlie. Yeah, I see. Rex 100 meters. Hot on my ass. Okay, that was weird. He's eating a parasaur. Okay, Charlie. I'd get in the air if I were you. I am. I was kind of getting nervous about that. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Is two walls high enough? He's in there. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now look, there's an alpha raptor in the distance. I say we wait till morning and we try and kill it when dawn arises. We have the Rex trap. That's the hardest part of it. 
It's okay to be Charlie. I will uh, get I'm, close. I'm not trying to. It's, it's gliding. I'm trying to actually move where we could kind of see it. Well, how about you stop sprinting then? I'm not. That's a good spot. No, over here where I'm sitting is a good spot. We don't want to be any closer to that Alpha Raptor further down the valley than we have to. Oh yeah, I see him down there now. Yeah, you see that orange glow. He's running around trying to eat anything that moves. We don't want him getting into the trap after we knock that Rex out. Alright, um, a torch bird. Wow, look at that moon. Oh yeah, that moon is amazing tonight. Oh yeah, that's just a beautiful so, moon. So, it's kind of scary being in the dark. Yeah. But, you know, it's not so dark that we can't see what's going on. Like, I can see a little Truodon running around there in the distance because of his little eye shine in the direction of that Stegosaur. Yeah, you can see him running in the dark because of that bright little orange eye. Yeah, I can yeah. see the... Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I see the Stegosaur's red spines. Yeah. yeah. I see reflecting. another one over there to our, our straight right behind those rocks I saw. That's yeah. all I can see, and I can see the red glow of the dino way up there, where it looks like he's fighting something as well. Oh yeah, he, he's an alpha raptor. He'll eat anything. Um, so Stego just went over there to the Rex. Is that a problem? It's okay, the Rex shouldn't bite at him through the wall. So why can't I just shoot him? Well, the main reason I say we don't want to open fire in the middle of the night where we can't see is uh, if he falls unconscious and we shoot him again, it'll ruin the taming efficiency. Mm. And we do not want to ruin the taming efficiency. You did bring all the normal narcotics, right? Wait, what? You did bring normal narcotics, right? No. No, oh, well, I brought 56. Brought what? Charlie, you're being targeted. Yeah, I see this. Here. Go by their eyes, Shine. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, the process to tame these little bastards is insane. Okay, well, Stegosaur oh. has been oh. aggroed. Did I hit the Stega? The racks. At least the moon's going down. Yeah, that means the sun will be up soon. Are you still trying to kill the Stego? Yeah, I'm killing the Stego. It's better to get everything out of the way anyway. There we go. We're safe now. Ooh, it's getting a little hot here though. I should probably... Put back on my ghillie suit now. What is the ghillie suit good for? Ghillie suit is very good for regulating body temperature. It makes you cool down quick. Alright, so I can't see shit to know where there's any trees, though I know I'm on a rock. Um, do you got any wood? Uh, no. Why? Oh, I want another torch. You want another torch, huh? So I could well, see. Well, there are trees to our left and to our right on the edges of the gorge, but it's about to be daytime. I absolutely can't see anything to note. Well, I mean, you can't see the light of that bright purple drop coming down behind us? I see that. Use like, that I can't as light. see the trees. Look, come over here. Oh, it's like can... right there next to us. I'll see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, you can see all these trees, and you can see the rocks, and you can see the animals. All right next to this. See, a good survivor makes lemons out of lemonade. Oh, look, Charlie, a wild honeybee nest. Oh, there's another one over there. Uh, so how do we capture those? 
Well, first we'd have to break them and see if there was a queen inside. So is that something I do now? No. No. Oh. Because we'd need bug repellent and we would also need rare flowers to tamer. Okay. Yeah. Neither are things that we have. Plus, once you tame her, you turn her into a hive and then uh, you have to feed her rare flowers forever. Mm. Well, we got one. Well, I think that's all we had. Yeah, there's a there's a way to get a large amount of rare flowers. And it's about to be daytime. Do we want to try and go kill that alpha raptor? Uh, how close is it? I really don't see it right now. I'm not looking. I'm covering up. I can up. see the. It's, it's down I'm the. Freezing. Yeah. It's down the gorge. It'll probably be all right. Unless the smell of blood attracts them. Is that a thing? No, but they do get aggroed from a pretty good distance. Is that another stegosaur? Yeah, that's another stegosaur. At least we got another spot of prime meat. That alpha drops a ton of prime meat. Uh, What's your plan on killing an alpha raptor? Well... If the two of us... Do I need to... Yep. I did not even see that bird coming. I kind of slowly wa watched him walk in the frame. Here, I'll help you kill him. Yeah, he drops prime too. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, um... The plan would be we land in front of him, he, got... he runs up towards us, and we alternate hitting him to push him back. And we do that when the sun comes up? Yeah, I mean, we could try. And, you know, if it looks like we're not going to make it, all we got to do is fly off. He looks far enough away. I don't I don't think he's going to make it, make his way over here. I think we'll be fine for now. Well, once we knock out the wrecks, I'll pick up the ramps that let him get in it. Get in it so there'll be less of a chance. Like, I see it every he now and then, but the rocks are just kind of in the way. You think it's bright enough us. for us to start knocking it out? Um, I can kind of see his outline right now. Well, if you can kind of see his outline, that that should be good enough. Okay, whistle your tames passive. Uh, yeah, just whistle passive. I'm looking okay. for it. He's looking at us, Charlie. Well, hey there, buddy. I'm kind of trapped in this hole here. You're not trapped in this hole. Walk this way. To the left. You're not. You're not trapped at all. I uh, know I'm not trapped, but I felt like if I, I, I would be too close. I am also apparently what? fairly hurt from my jump off of Skybex. Oh, Charlie, you're such a fragile little snowflake. Can I Can shoot? You stop him? running off of rocks. Okay. Yeah, let's start shooting. Now, it won't take as many as I said because we're using um, better than normal quality crossbows. Or at least I am. Yeah, yours is doing. Uh, more. Yeah, about 10 more damage than mine. Here, let me see. Uh, he's got 10,000 torpor. We gotta keep laying it on. Then else is dying. Yeah, it's a little dilo fa uh, chasing after a um, Can you check him? Wait, what? what? Can you check him? He's only about at half. Okay. Game Black. leak up there. Yeah, I saw that. I couldn't reload. I'm getting hit. You're getting attacked by a dilo. See, this is what I'm talking about when it comes.